Hi YouTube. So this is my first attempt, as you can see I got my little ponytail here, at actually showing you how I mix my color and how I do my two-tone. It is not the easiest thing to do. Um, I remember the last time I did my color I had to help have my daughter help me um, wash out this part. The last time I did it as well, I did this part first and then I did this part. This part ended up getting wet, so then I had to, um, I don't know, it's just, it's really difficult to do two-tone hair by yourself. So now I have to figure out how am I going to do it? Am I going to do it together or am I going to separate it like I did the last time? I think I'm going to attempt to do it together. Um, of course, what you'll need is gloves, and I'm just taking these from the color that I'm using. And I actually could not find my Vaseline, so I actually did my edges with this Talia Waji strengthener. Um, just something that's kind of a petroleum base, so I used that. And <clears throat> put these gloves on right now. The other things you'll need besides gloves, a plastic bag, you might need two of these, um, I'm going to take another one out just in case. Most of the time I don't need to because I also use wax paper and clips, okay. I've already, I found this cheap color which is a Clairol, it's a black, I just needed a black. And um, the other color I am mixing myself. I'm actually making some type of color up. Uh, we're going to see how that turned out. Oh, okay. So, I'm going to add a little bit of protein filler. First of all, what I'm going to do is put a little moisture to my locks, which I actually already did. And this is just uh, my own personal, what I mix together, which includes tea tree, um, grapeseed oil, jojoba oil, olive oil, and that's one more, I can't think of, it might be sweet almond, I'm not sure. And I just mix all of them together. And I think I'm going to add this, the, this protein filler first. So I'm only going to add one ounce of that, maybe not even one ounce. Oh yeah, you're also going to need a bottle. I brought this bottle from Sally's. I actually use these bottles. Um, yeah, I'm going to add an ounce. I use these bottles when I'm doing my oils because I do tend to, to sell oils sometimes when people that know me need them. Uh, I've already done the black. Here's this one. I won't even need this whole thing because as you can see, my hair... Let me see if I can bring this. Kind of hard for me to do. Let's see. There we go. I don't know if you can see my gray. You see that gray right there? And the black on the side is a little gray. So I figured knock it out. Majority of the time I do not have to do the black, but I'm just gonna go ahead on and do it now. Oh, uh, try to go back. As you can see, I'm still mastering my uh, <laughs> my camera that I'm using. So I added the protein filler, and now I'm going to figure out which colors I'm going to use. I'm going to mix a few of them, and it may come out a crazy color, but hey, who cares? I'm really trying to get a deeper red. Right now, I didn't go back to the store, so right now I have this copper tone. And I have this uh, red oak, which is a base red. It's like a light red brown. And the copper tone is like a like a light copper red. And then I have I have a little bit of copper tone in here, so I'm just gonna use the rest of that. And for some reason I have this this really light brown. I think my mother told me to buy it because she's a beautician colorist and she was trying to tell me what would look good in my hair. And then I have a little teeny bit of this base red, which I'm going to use the rest of this. Um, and of course I have my developer, 
which is the Soy Flex Clairol 40 Maximum Lift, because that's what I'm trying to achieve. Um, to change my hair color up. So now I'm going to mix this red, this base red, the rest of that in here. You see how much I get because this is about one ounce of protein filler. Yeah, it wasn't that much of that. So I'm going to mix two ounces of color and then I'm going to mix um, four ounces of developer, if I'm not mistaken. I'm going to use the rest of this copper tone as well. And it's not even reaching up to two yet. So I'm going to have to add a lot more of uh, these other colors. I'm going to add a little bit of this one. I told you I'm mixing all of them together, which is the, this is the light brown, which is going to give it more of a lift. A little bit of that, not a lot. I think that was a little less than an ounce. Then I'm going to shoot for this red brown right here. And then I'm going to add a little bit more copper tone. So right now I'm at about two ounces, which isn't a lot. And I'm going to go to almost three because I'm almost at my two ounces that I'm using. I'm going to go back to that copper tone. I would like to try to make this as red as possible. Okay. And... That is two ounces right there because you already know I added the one ounce of protein filler. Now the protein filler is just going to actually help with lifting it even more. Um, where is it at so I can read to you exactly what it does. Neutral protein filler um, repairs previously damaged protein bonds protects hair against um, new chemical damage and seals color seals the color fibers so yeah so now I'm going to add four I believe four ounces of this Let me make sure that I ain't trying to mess up my color. Yeah. So I need to add. And, you, and what makes it so bad is that I won't even need most of this color. That's the bad part. So I almost feel like. Still right there. Okay. I almost feel like I'm wasting it. But I guess we'll see. And put the top on that. This is going to be for the top of my hair. Someone's calling me. Yeah. So, shake it real good. 